Just when you thought it was safe to go and buy another Aventus clone, Parfums Vintage drop two more. Vanilla Intense and King. Are there too many Aventus clones on the market? Do we need any more? Let's take a look. So yes, we have two new releases from Parfums Vintage. They're really rolling them out. I've only just recently done a review of King Intense, which was excellent. You can check that one out up here if you'd like to. So now we have Vanilla Intense and King. Full disclosure, before I delve into talking about these fragrances, I know you already all know this. These bottles were sent to me free of charge for review, but I just want to make sure that you know that all my opinions I give are honest in this and are in no way influenced by them sending me the fragrances. So we've got that out of the way. Let's talk about the fragrances. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is King. Now King is marketed by Parfums Vintage as a balanced interpretation of the Aventus DNA. And you do get that. It is a really nice balance as usual. It's the high quality blend you can expect from Parfums Vintage. Just to give you an idea of where this sits in the Parfums Vintage lineup, I find it not quite as pineapple-y as Pineapple Vintage Intense, and not quite as birchwoody as King Intense. Even though King Intense isn't so birchwoody, it becomes smoky, it's just got a little bit more bite to it than the others. So I think King is the most balanced of all the Aventus style Parfums Vintage releases to date. I enjoy it equally as much as King Intense. They're both high quality blends and performance is similar on both of these. So which one you might choose out of King Intense and King is down to personal choice. Do you want the more balanced version of King or do you want the slightly pushed birch note of King Intense? I enjoy both of these equally. Both are high quality blends and the performance is the same for me on both of these. But there is another. Two days after filming my King Intense review, in which I confidently proclaimed that I thought Parfums Vintage had nailed it in terms of producing a high quality interpretation of the Aventus DNA, well, they went and dropped Vanilla Intense. This came through the mail. I opened the box, I saw the words Vanilla Intense, and I thought, of course, the vanilla note. Now vanilla is a gorgeous note in fragrances. It adds sweetness, creaminess, depth, and I love the note of vanilla, so when I saw this one, I thought, you got me again. I'm equally as interested to try this one. So here we are talking about Vanilla Intense. Okay, I'm gonna be honest here. Comparing King Intense, King and Vanilla Intense, in terms of the openings, I don't detect that much of a difference. Really digging deep, you can tell that King Intense has that extra bite due to the boosted birch note, and Vanilla Intense is just a touch smoother on the opening but I'm talking about nuances here. I'm talking about the tiniest of margins. In the air, I don't think anyone would really be able to tell any difference. So all three of these fragrances are excellent and they're all high quality blends. I enjoy all of them. Now, where this differs for me from King and King Intense is in the performance. This one lasts longer on my skin than the other two, so I'm getting around 10 hours longevity as a skin scent from King and King Intense, and Vanilla Intense gives me 13, 14 hours as a skin scent, if not longer than that. I had a shower, and after the shower, I could still detect this as a skin scent. So, so far, in terms of performance, Vanilla Intense is the best release for me. Now, there's something else that goes on with this. In the far dry down, we're talking around eight to 10 hours. Something surprising happened with this one. Where most Aventus style scents in the far dry down become a slightly sweet, creamy, vanilla-y type scent. So the base notes of vanilla and ambergris just remain on the skin. It loses that distinctive character profile of the opening of Aventus with the pineapple and the birch. It becomes this pleasant, vanilla-y type skin scent. Not with this one. For me, this one morphed into something different. Now this might come as a bit of a surprise. It did to me. And this may only be me. This might just be my skin chemistry but it really reminded me in the far dry down of Tom Ford's Oud Wood. Well, <laughs> who knew? Now, at first I thought I'd been wearing an item of clothing where I'd previously worn Oud Wood because I smelt it on my arm and I was thinking, have I worn a jacket? Have I, have I been wearing a jacket that I'd worn with Oud Wood on my arms and it rubbed off onto the inside of the sleeve of the jacket and then that had transferred onto my arm at the same time 
I was wearing Vanilla Intense, so I wasn't quite sure. I've had a good number of wearings of this one now, and it happens every time. I don't know if this is intentional. I've not heard anything from Parfums Vintage to say that this is something that they were aiming for. It's not exactly the same, but it does really remind me of it, and it certainly is a different scent in the dry down to Aventus itself and to all the other Aventus clones that I've smelled. So there's something different going on with this. Now, in Oud Wood, we have vanilla, we have amber. In Vanilla Intense, we have vanilla, we have ambergris. So whether it's that boosted vanilla that is causing the dry down to become something a little bit different, I'm not sure, but for me, it was. You may not get the same experience. I'm just relaying to you the experience that I had with this, but it did take me by surprise. Now, I love Tom Ford's Oudwood, so if in the dry down, it becomes something that reminds me of that, rather than a fairly generic vanilla-based skin scent, I'm happy about that. So in the far dry down, this one becomes the most interesting as that boosted vanilla note just seems to take it in a different direction. For the smooth opening, for the better performance and the surprising dry down, I would say that Vanilla Intense is probably my favourite of the Parfums Vintage releases that are based on the Aventus DNA so far. Now, Damien, stop. No more. I want this one to remain my favourite. Let's leave it that way. Okay, now I just want to talk about all these different releases of the Aventus scent profile from Parfums Vintage. Uh, a lot of people, when I post a picture or when I release a video or when other reviewers release videos, there's a lot of comments that say, oh no, this is getting ridiculous. Why do we need more iterations of Aventus clones? What Parfums Vintage, in my opinion, are doing is they're catering to the connoisseur, they're catering to the hardcore Aventus fans. If someone knows Aventus exceptionally well, then they probably have favorite batches and they're probably tuned into Aventus enough to be able to detect the slight nuances, the slight differences between those batches and because of that they'll have developed a favorite. So some Aventus connoisseurs may prefer the vanilla, some may prefer the balance, some may prefer the birch. Now Parfums Vintage are marketing these fragrances at those people so even though there are a lot of people out there that think it's you know three Aventus clones too many, well there are people probably thinking, yes, great, a finally one with a vanilla note has been released. So I think that's what Parfums Vintage's strategy is, and it's obviously working for the company. They're obviously making sales because these new releases keep coming out. And I suspect this might not be the last one. Let's talk about the prices. So as usual for King, King Intense, Vanilla Intense, you're looking at $79 for 50ml and $129 for 100ml. So on the pricier side of things, but still cheaper than buying original full retail Aventus. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you've tried any of these fragrances, I'd love to hear from you. Have you tried Vanilla Intense? Have you tried King or King Intense? I'd love to know how you feel about the differences. And let me know if you've got that strange experience in the far dry down of Vanilla Intense in terms of being reminded of Oudwood. I'd love to hear if anyone else has experienced that. Maybe it's just me. Right, I'm off to an Aventus connoisseur's party and just for fun, I'm gonna spray myself from head to toe with every version of Pineapple Vintage ever released just to confuse the fudge out of everyone. Until next time, keep tuning into FM and keep smelling good.